Hey guys, it's Yohosaka here, and I know what you're thinking. Like, what the hell is this clip doing here? And let's just say that this is a clip of me finding the last railing because I didn't get to do so before. And I just want to further prove the point that I just want to be able to get the best ending. And to further prove that I'm not bullshitting around here. So just to give a further proof that I do am able to get the last railing. But anyways, I wanted to say to all of you, thank you so much for watching the series. I know it's not always easy, and this was pretty much, a, uh, let's just say, an experimental for me because uh, I've never done HD Let's Plays, and that's also the same case for Pokemon Coliseum, but we'll get to that later when I do an update video of, on it. Also, I wanted to do this quick little clip, and I thought this was a good opportunity to say happy birthday to two of my friends for online, which are Shadow Wolf Triple Zero, which his birthday is today. And the gaming master guys, aka John, whose birthday is tomorrow because their birthdays are literally right next to each other. And so I want to say to the both of you, a very happy birthday. Hopefully you guys get whatever you wanted or how, hopefully you guys have a very, very happy birthday. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into the actual finale episode. Well then, now that you actually see me get the last Sprightling to get all 40 of them anyways, hi everybody and welcome back to the grand finale of Wario World. So, yeah, we pretty much cleared every single world. We cleared World 4 and we got the last stone key and as you can pretty much tell, this chest is shining in the middle there, so I don't know about you. But I think it really is time to end off this game. So, and honestly, I really do enjoy this game despite some of the mishaps, but although that's most mostly because of me be that, than really because of the game, so. Oh boy. Let's get on with it. There it is. <laughs> Here it is. Here it is. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh shit, shit. There we go. Ah, damn. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that was a close call. No. Miss me, miss me, you gotta kiss me.
Come on. Oh shit. Ah, stay the hell away from me. What? I threw it. Shit, that was the first time I've missed that. There we go. Shit. the colors of the rainbow. Ooh, he tried it. Shit. Oh, come on. Holy crap. Holy crap. It's down to two more. This is really easy so far. Like, very easy. Did not see this coming. Oh, damn it. One more. Yeah, honestly, it's very easy. I mean, yeah, I've got, I've taken a lot of damage, but still. Yeah. Literally, the boss does the same exact patterns. It's like really once you get down to it.
Holy crap. You did it. You defeated all the evil, evil monsters. Everything will be alright now. Alright. <laughs> Wario, we're saved. Thank you. The evil black jewel has been smashed to powder. The monsters won't come back now. But even if they do, I think we can handle them. <laughs> As a reward, we're going to rebuild your united... Your ruined... Castle, I don't know why it's said United. We Spritelings aren't that strong, so without a lot of us, I doubt we can rebuild your castle right, but... We'll do our best with what we have. Here goes! Alrighty, let's see what they'll do. Yeah, basically, depending on how many Spritelings you do save, really does determine uh, what kind of endings you're gonna end up getting. So... Although, I did manage to get every single one of them, and then literally one of them I had to get. It. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you look so derpy? <laughs> oh my god, he looks so derpy! You see that? Anyways, aside from me being re weird about it, but in all serious though, um, what was I, what was I gonna say? Oh uh, yes, um, that I act, I did eventually get one of the sprite links that I was missing for quite some time. Um, and pretty sure you guys saw the clip. I most likely going to be placed in the beginning before this actual finale shit happening. I'm, like really I'm talking to myself so that I can remind myself how I would edit, edit shit, but... Yeah. Honestly though, I really enjoyed this game. I really do. Now, do I think it's the best Wario game ever, ever made? Not really. Actually, far from it. I think, like, honestly, when you compare it to the Wario Land games, I think, um... I think most of them do a pretty good job. Or pretty much do a better job. I mean, like I said, I think I said this back in the very first episode, like, people had mixed feelings about the whole scenario. Um, people have mixed feelings about this game overall. Some people say they really liked it, some people say they don't like it, and I am pretty much that one of the common problems is that the, the game itself is short. I mean, yeah, the game is short, and I mean, for a game that was made by Treasure, I mean, yeah, look, it's popping up now. Treasure video games and Nintendo. But, um... I think, honestly, I really did enjoy the game overall. It's quite fun. I think what really happens here is that the game really wants you- Well... That's it. That's the stuff. Now that's the kind of place a guy like me deserves. Oh god. Um... Oh boy. I wish I can edit that screenshot a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it will look a lot better. Oh yes, much better. I don't know. But... Yeah, that's... That's Wario World, and... Welcome to Wario World. Wow. Um, okay. So, really, um... Real quick, I guess I can do a quick review. Um, the game is really great. Um, although it's not the best Wario game that's made. Although I think, like, really, if you want to say, like, the really top, like, really the, like, maybe top five best Wario games, like, really, it has to be one of the Wario Land games that are most probably going to be considered, like, the really best one. And I think many people loved... Wario Land 3. 
Although Wario Land 4 really comes close and I've been meaning to try to like do that as a let's play, but maybe some other time. Um, I'm really surprised that I was able to do this actually. Um, all right. <laughs> now, really, honestly, uh, now there were a few levels that I didn't, I wasn't too keen on, um, especially that winter level and the desert level. So I think I hate the win- It's like now I'm trying to pick which one do I hate more. I think the desert level really takes a kick. It is extremely annoying and... It's really annoying. Although I think the snow level, I just flat out hate. I just simply hate, hate it. But with the desert level, like, it's fine. It's just it's really fucking annoying in certain parts. It's like... I don't know. It like it even took me a couple of tries. Now the bosses were are actually really interesting. Really interesting bosses. I feel like one of the really iconic things about the Wario games is that like the freaking bosses really like get so like weird but really interesting. Like so unique and weird and all this wacky shit like now, um, what else? What else for me to... What is there for me to say? Um... Overall, despite whatever bullshit I encountered, I really did enjoy my time with it. And... I'm glad... I'm glad to be able to play it. I really am. If I was younger and if I were to see this game in a, in, at an actual game store, I would probably actually buy it. Like, it's really crazy because at the time, like, I wasn't able to really... Like, despite that we had a GameCube in our household, um, I wasn't really allowed to really touch it by my older sibling at the time. Um, it wasn't until maybe years later and this was way after the Wii was launched and was the relevant console at the time but overall I really enjoy my time with it and you know what I don't regret a single goddamn moment I don't regret it a single bit I'm happy anyways um yeah you know what Let's put that one more time and because it may definitely be the last time I ever see this title screen. Unless like um I'll probably go back at my own time, see if I could just complete the game 100 percent God, um This is most likely going to be the last video. Unless because okay, here's the thing. I heard that in the Japanese version, like, there were some a lot of changes that were made in the Japanese version. Not only that, though, the, but the Black Jewel also had a... The boss battle with um, the Black Jewel was a lot harder. It, it was actually really hard because um, what happened is, is that this game was released um, in America a year prior before Japan and what happened is many people were like really complaining people were legitimately complaining about how how the final boss was too easy and you know what I kind of agree I kind of agree like the final boss like if you if I were to compare it to other bosses that I being in this game, I, like, I, I fought harder ones, but it, I think a lot of people say that it's either it's, it's piss easy or that the fight with the Black Jewel is, it feels like a bit anticlimactic, which I think that was, that's like the best way to describe. But then the Japanese version, um, the Black Jewel actually has a second phase and it has a different background music from what I heard that also had played before when during um, E3 of 2002 I believe when they were showing off this game 
I don't know, like, they really added the... But all that was really only applying the Japanese version, so you can pretty much tell I played an English version. If only I can find a Japanese version of the game. I would have loved to show it, show it to you guys, like, to show it off, but otherwise, you know, this is really the end of the series. And I'm, now I'm just mumbling on like an absolute moron, but... I was- I- I just really want to express how I feel about the game, and I just want to express what I know about the game, I guess, overall. But... Yeah, um... I'm gonna miss playing this. I'm gonna miss doing a Let's Play, but... It was fun while it lasted. I really enjoyed my time. Funny because it now took me 12 episodes, but... Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're done here. We we completed Warrior World. For those who have been watching ever since from the first episode, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it was definitely one of the very first Let's Plays I did in HD. Uh, yeah, I got a I I I almost like I almost forgot that myself, but. Yeah, it's gonna be really sad to really see this go. But, don't worry, um, Pokemon Coliseum is still happening. It's still... Still going strong. And, yeah, I think this is... This is where I end this video not now. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy the finale, then give it a like. Subscribe to my channel for other... LPs that I'm currently working on, and yeah, I'm gonna really miss this. Um, it really is enjoyable. It's really memorable. All right, uh, I don't mean to sound any. I, I don't mean to sound um philosophical or anything, but I'm gonna end this now. Thank you, and bye.